What do you know? You don't know. Tell the Odeo champs, and yes, the R13GS. There has been problems, issues, lots of issues going on with that bike. And yeah, recalls, delayed deliveries, all sorts of things. Let's talk about it. I will say, before I get into this video, I have some big, big, big news about the GS, the GS Adventure, the 1300 GS or 1400 GS Adventure. I have some big news on that, so make sure you subscribe. But let's get into the 1300 issues. Now, you may or may not know that actually BMW had the most recalls out of any motorcycle manufacturer. Now, is that because they got higher standards like many BMW fanboys will tell you? And you can obviously see I'm a GS owner myself. And of course, you can easily identify a GS owner because they're old, bold, boring, fat, and their gentleman sausage doesn't work anymore. But there actually are other ways you can tell a GS owner or a boxer rider, and that's by the scars on their shins. Oh yes, beautiful boxer scars on your shins. That is one true way to identify a boxer owner. And yeah, nah, I'll accept the broken tib and fib in lieu of a scar to identify yourself as a GS owner. But the main way you identify a GS owner is here. This beautiful thing here. A real GS owner must love the shaft, must dream about the shaft, talk about the shaft, and obviously take the shaft to off-road adventures, etc. Now, to be fair to the 1300 GS and all its issues so far, this thing here is a 1250 GS, and over the years it has had many problems, from leaking brakes, leaking forks, the shocks, the shocks have leaked. Some electrical gremlins here and there, but the one problem that actually blows me away is the shaft. Yes, they have had issues with the shaft from corrosion to snapping shafts. I cannot believe BMW have been making the shaft for 40 years and they still can't get it right. It's amazing. And frankly, to be fair, a lot of manufacturers have had a lot of issues with their bikes as well, but it seems to be the GS has quite a lot. And you need to remember that these things here, they sell a ton of these. They sell 60,000 a year, 60,000 compared to say Ducati that sell 10,000 Multistriders. So you would expect six times the problems, but you know, the GS, the 1300 has only been out for a little while and there are issues. So what are those issues? So it turns out I have an extensive list of all the major issues of the 1300 GS. Oh, there it is. So let's go through them all. And remember, I check all these things because when I bought this bike, I'd done all the research on all the common faults of all the bikes. So I just do this. I'm not picking on the 1300. I do this for every bike. So the number one issue plaguing the 1300 GS is the one major issue that every single one of them has had. Every single one. And that is... The backlight switches, the lights don't work on them. I don't know what's going on, maybe they'll fix that. And another thing, another thing to do with that is no one can actually find the heated grips button. Everybody's tried to find it, no one can find it. We've had recalls, apparently there may be recalls of these bikes coming very soon and that's a bit vague, but um, there's definitely been delayed pickups, okay? So people have ordered their 1300 GS and they've said, oh, you have to wait, we have to do something, some software update or something or other, and they've given them rental bikes instead. Well, that is for real. But, 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 there is no recall, official recall so far. Now, when it comes to the luggage, they have these sort of caps that fit over the, you know, the attachment for the luggage, and they've been going missing. People have been riding them once, and they fall off, and maybe they've been stolen. Who knows? Maybe the bloke that stole the heated grips button, maybe he stole those as well. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's an issue. And luggage. Some of the luggage has been faulty, like not opening properly, getting locked, getting jammed. So they've got some things to sort out with, with the luggage there. And I had a look at these and it's already got a dent in the side of it just there where it's um had something against it so that's not good but that was the same with the other ones the problem is it's central locking and as the central locking works this one for whatever reason will not lock so that is uh, like that all the time. And this one is locked all the time and I can't get it to unlock. Some people have actually raised like quality control issues. Like they're saying that the stickers, they feel very raised. Now, maybe they're all raised now. I don't know, but um, 
they seem to be very pronounced compared to the 1250 GS. So have a look at the stickers. You know, if it looks anything looks untoward there, maybe go, oh, is it supposed to be like this? Maybe just ask the question. Maybe they're all like that now. I don't know, but um, people have mentioned those stickers being a bit raised there. And the quality of the stickers that are on the Enduro. <sighs> so what am I saying? I'm hoping that um, the one I've ordered, these just don't look that good. The, the fit and finish of the bike, I don't think is as good as the 1250. I think they've um, they've gone off on a mission to save some money. Now, I got all these from forums, from actually uh, 1300 GS owners, some from Facebook and forums and stuff like that. And they're talking about the EMS or EMC or whatever it is, the computer of the actual bike itself that's been playing up and maybe they have to do a software update for that. So I don't know what that is. Maybe it's something to do with the gearbox because I'm gonna talk about the gearbox now. First of all, some people have had leaky gearbox seals. So we're talking about oil seals at the rear of the gearbox. So we're the gearbox connects to the shaft there's been some leaks there now this is going to be like a really bad issue like it's not a major issue it's an easy fix you fix the seal right but the problem is if you get a leaky one right you're going to replace it with the same seal so you just got to cross your fingers and hope oh i hope this seal works until they actually you know build a new seal or do something to it where it fixes it permanently you may be in a few times getting those seals fixed so uh, yeah, look out for that. And the biggest major issue I have seen, the only real, you know, showstopper that makes you think, ooh, this ain't quite right, because all the rest are just minor sort of stuff, is gearbox problems. Gearbox problems that may be related to that software update for the computer management there. I don't know, but someone has actually returned their bike. I'll leave a link to it in the description to that forum, that forum post where the guy's taken it in three times and they haven't fixed his gearbox issue. You know, the shifting issue, maybe it's computer. I don't know what they're doing, if they're just replacing the oil in the, you know, the system there. I don't know, but he hasn't had that issue sorted out. So there may be a replacement for that guy's bike. Now that may be an isolated incident. We don't know because these bikes have just come out, but you know, all in all considering, you know, they sell pretty well, these bikes. Um, not many, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine issues that I've got. I haven't gone through all of them, but um, nine issues, some of them are just minor. Yuck. Not many, don't worry about it. But all jokes aside, one just to watch out for is that gearbox thing and the oil leak is something to watch out for there. The rest is nothing really. Now we'll say the 1300 has actually had more issues than any of the other bikes like the Multistrada, the Tiger, the KTM. I, I, come on man, KTM there's too many issues to list isn't there? Come on, it's KTM man. No, I'm only joking. But um, seriously like the Tiger 1200 and the Multistrada haven't had that many issues compared to the 1300 that's come out you know only a few months ago and it's had more issues than say the Multistrada or the Tiger. Now the Tiger had some you know need the clutch bleeded, uh, some you know, minor uh, software, you know, updates. The Multistrada needs software updates. They had dodgy engines in the first batch of Multistratas due to a supply issue. They had something wrong with the valve guides or something, and it was a supply issue, and they fixed that. But other than that, the Multistrada is mostly electrical issues, and what they had to. Uh, bleed the clutch on the 1200 Tiger and some software stuff and just minor stuff really um, You got to think that the 1300 that's all pretty minor as well So apart from that gearbox one which we'll watch watch out for that one and the leak a, a Leaky seal man. That's that's terrible because you may be replacing that many times and it may be a thing that happens like three years down the track so Yeah Anyway, I thought I'd share that video. Come on, man. Planes all the time now. Fuck, I miss COVID. Now, I will say, stay tuned for more stuff to come. I can't wait to ride the 1300. It's raining a bit and there's kangaroos out. I better get home before the kangaroos come out. It's getting, the light's getting low now. It's getting into the dusk. And that's when the roos come out, the boomers. We call them boomers. And yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. Oh, I better go this way. To get my camera. Camera. Oh, yeah, boxer. Boxer glory. Diggity, diggity, boxer.